now this marks the beginning of February! Listen up now. Ooh, the Levitine Cup! You want to keep this in mind, because this is an important plot point that's going to span for like half of the game. A tournament, huh? Nice. Ah, it's a Lanceal tradition! Even better! <laughs> Idiot. <sighs> These guys don't have any really? enthusiasm at all. Man. Hmm. So this tournament, if we win, the rest of the Ken will have to respect us, right? Well, hopefully. I'll do Looks it! Looks like is fired the hell up! Ah, uh, I see. <laughs> Alright, so let's do it! Oh, we got a present in the R and D building. Wonder what it is. <sighs> Food in the R and D building. <laughs> Come on, Avon, use your head. Yo. Ha <laughs> ha. Hey. <laughs> hey, Lavinia. Nice to take. Pilot? Tank pilot? Oh, we get a tank? Oh, sweet. Oh, nice. <laughs> Whoa there. Let me call me black. <laughs> Olivia is serious. <laughs> nice to meet ya. Huh? Let's see. Oh, we get to name the tank. Just like with your squad, you can get to name your tank. I'm gonna go with the name I used during my first playthrough of this game. I think it'll be quite appropriate. It's a Gundam! What? A Gundam? <laughs> Yo! Awesome. And Lavinia Lane, she's gonna be our tank pilot. She's joining the squad. Oh, we're going to love using Lavinia, trust me. We have a new transfer arriving today. Oh! I'm Chloe Blixen. Get used to me, I guess. I'm not a fan of messy social situations, so just leave me in peace. Chloe Lixon is a scout. She's also joined the squad. From time to time, transfer students will pop into Class G to join our squad. To begin, here is today's news. Okay, the store is now available. We can now perform co-op and versus missions in the, in the briefing room. You can now choose vehicle parts. We can set potentials. Levity and qualifiers of this month. New vision has been assigned. New versus mission and events. Light speed. Alright, now, there's quite a lot we can go over now that uh, February is underway. And I want to introduce both Lavinia and Chloe. Let's go to briefing room real quick. Listen up now. Multiplayer modes. You can play with other players in the, using the ad hoc mode by selecting multiplayer in the briefing room. Co-op lets you team up with other players to protect missions, and versus lets you fight another player's squad. You can view information about the rules for each type of play in the class notes in Devon's room. I basically have no idea how multiplayer works, so don't ask me about it. Listen up now. Changing potentials! Your squad members may, may, may awaken new battle potentials during a mission, as we just saw Vaughn do before the mission ended. The story January story mission. Battle potentials are retained even when a unit class changes, as long as they are equipped. You can change the potentials you've equipped by selecting Change Potential in the Briefing Room. Let your squad members experience a variety of classes so they can wait get more of their inner potential. This is a huge thing in Valkyria Chronicles 2. As you, as you go around between each class, 
you a character will can learn a new potential. And characters can learn one new potential for every class they're in. And you can go back and you can uh, change go back to change classes on the fly. So you can learn some new potentials for one particular class and have that potential from that class for another class, which makes experimenting quite fun. Ah, Avon, how can I help you today? I'm not doing any missions right now. All right, a draft. Now here's Lavinia. She's going to be riding in our tank. We'll talk more about the tank in detail when we get to R&D, but I just want to go over Lavinia's potentials. And she likes Maria too, who I will also be using. That's pretty cool. She has Big Sister, which we can pretty much get, uh, know from playing uh, first game, because Rosie. Bloodthirsty, which is a very useful potential. This is going to be what makes Lavinia very useful. Bloodthirsty will allow her to perform, an, perform another action sometimes. Or attack again. And Wounded Heart. This is a negative potential, it lowers accuracy. But Bloodthirsty is one probably one that's going to set Lavinia apart from the Edelweiss and the Shamrock. Very nice. And Chloe. I kind of like her character, considering that she's an artist type character. But there's one thing that prevents me from using her. Moody. I hate Moody. If you were fortunate enough to not use Herbert all the way through in the first game, you probably missed out on this potential that he learns. Moody lets the sometimes lets the character refuse to take an action, even if you use the CP on them. It will just outright say no, don't feel like doing it, and you just wasted your CP. I hate that! And even doing her class new mission does not change the fact that she still has Moody. She still keeps it after the fact. So I can't use that because I like my CP. I'm a stickler. Eh. Sue me. Too bad. She like a good character? Oh well. Okay. Now let's review class notes before we go anywhere else. Evaluations. By clearing missions, you can earn experience, funds, materials, and credits. You receive more experience and funds when you complete a mission in fewer turns. Materials de differ depending on the mission and location. You can confirm this under mission rewards from the briefing room. You can also receive bonus experience, funds, and materials by defeating strong enemies or certain other units. Credits are awarded based on an individual performance rather than the squad as a whole. Credits are given to the units who may make a contribution, such as defeating an enemy, healing an ally, or capturing a camp. Units making outstanding contributions are ranked top or runner-up, and these receive more credits than the others. The credits you can earn differ depending on the mission. This is also shown when you select a mission in the briefing room. So that's why gaining credits are important. Ace Soldiers! Yes, these fuckers are back! Some enemy squads, including infantry units wearing a red uniform, these units are ace soldiers who have combat skills far superior to normal enemies. You will have a harder time defeating them, but you may obtain special weapons or blueprints if you take them down. When you see an ace during a mission, try to defeat them if you judge that your squad is strong enough to have a chance. This just basically entails to sweep, either sweeping the leg by aiming low or striking them in the back where they can't dodge. Special unit bonuses. You receive extra materials once you clear a mission to defeat enemy vehicles or strategic targets. There, These are always strong foes, but if you take out enough of them, you have a higher chance of obtaining rare materials. You have the option of simply avoiding these enemies, but you should aim to defeat them when you have the capability. You may also spot an enemy soldier wearing a yellow helmet. Defeating these soldiers will earn you bonus materials, such as with vehicles or strategic targets. Easy to know, right? And class notes for... Area effects or weather effects. Area effects sometimes occur on the battlefield where your missions take place. Area effects are special phenomena that have an impact on any units deployed in that affected area. For example, when fighting an Arlem at night, the night area effect is in place. In areas with a night effect, you can only see enemy units at close range, so enemies that are not that are, that are more distant are not visible. 
There are many other area effects such as those that hamper unit abilities or dangerous effects that do direct damage. Areas where an area effect is in place display an icon on the mission map showing the effect, so watch out for this. There are a bunch of area effects in this game, so you want to keep an eye out for them. Let's try the let's draw by the drill grounds. Good, you're here. And deck. I'm biased to armor tech, sue me. Alright, that are a boost for a new order. And defense boost. Right, let's go. Alright, let's drop by R and D. And we'll view the double exclamation event and then we'll probably call it an episode. Yo! Vehicles! Vehicle equipment can be divided into body, turret, and optional parts. Developing new body parts will raise HP and defense, making your vehicles more resilient. Improving your turrets will raise the attack power of your vehicles. There are several types of optional parts, such as armor and shoulder parts, which improve abilities and add effects. However, each piece of equipment has a weight, and you cannot fit more parts than your vehicle's body capacity allows. Vehicle equipment details are saved for each squad group, so you can make changes for specific condition mission conditions. Which is pretty nice. Yo. Also, what's up? <laughs> oh, nice! <laughs> Every time you begin a new month, you can you'll advance the development tier in the R and D in the R and D section, so you can build more stuff. Welcome to R and D, kid. Make yourself at home. Okay, some machine guns are new, wrenches are new. Like new like new wrench for my architects, so they don't suck. Interesting, we also have new stuff for our tank that we can employ now. So there's tank bodies and APC bodies. Yes, we can use APCs in this game. Anti-armor turrets, mortar turrets, flamethrower turrets, gatling turrets, shoulder parts, armor parts, backpack parts, markings, and stickers. All right. Here's how your vehicle. Here's how your vehicle works. Basically, when you develop a vehicle, you can choose. You can choose between a number of parts to set up with. The body, which is going to be the main part of your vehicle, your tank. You, you can choose between either a tank or an APC. Tanks still function just as they did in the first game, although they've he took a heavy t uh, turn downturn to their HP, but mainly so to uh, lower the fact that the fact. Um, that the versus armor uh, damage number is lower than most, as it was in the first game. They still cost two CP to use, but they have a ton of HP defense and defenses, and they have, and they boast a wide array of physical of uh, physical attack attacking, and as well as taking out other tanks or other. They're pretty much meant for all purpose. You'll notice that tanks in, in this game no longer have tread HP. Tread HP is gone. They just have regular HP now. So they don't have to worry about tread movement. But they do have two new things. Off-road and ice break. If a tank can go if a tank can't go off-road, or a vehicle can't go off-road, they'll expend more AP than normal. And ice break, when you see a terrain that's filled with blue, uh, blue spiky ice, that means you can't cross it. But if they have ice break, you can cross it. And the APC. APCs function kind of, almost just exactly like they do in Advanced Wars, without, of course, without supplying stuff because that's revert, reserved for engineers. But they can carry units. They only cost one CP. They are much weaker defensively than tanks, but they have a lot more AP and can go off road without any special parts. It's up to you. Tanks or APC is basically more versatile than ta tanks when it comes to running around stuff. It's up to you whether you want to choose a tank or an APC. I'm gonna go with tank because I like my tanks. I love my tanks. You can equip a turret for your tank or APC. The tank is is forced to equip with a standard turret, where it has anti-armor rounds, a mortar, and an armor gatling for counterattacking. 
You have your level, which goes up depending on uh, how much you upgrade the turret or this weapon in general. Versus personnel, suppression fire versus armor, accuracy, range, shots, ammo, and if area of effect. Shoulder parts usually incur two extra parts that allow to negate weather effects or area effects in a mission. Well, at least most of them do. I'm pretty sure. I'm pretty sure most of them have this effect. Armor allows you to add add stuff to your tank or APC that'll either raise its defense, its HP, or give it another ability, give an ability like rock breaking. Backpack parts allow you to add an extra part to your tank or APC that'll either significantly raise its stats or give it an, or give it a new ability, like the constructor pack, which allows the t which allows the tank to create ladders and bridges. Markings can allow for a, cer for a, cam a certain camouflage or other or other effects, like for example, camo will allow you to uh, lower enemy accuracy in certain areas. And a sticker, which is basically a decorative add-on that slightly augments your, the, your tank or APC stats. I'm gonna put in Isara's Dream, which you get for unlocking Isara. You lose a bit of HP, but your turret speed, turn speed, and range goes up. That is all. Oh, and in case you haven't noticed, there is a fixed vehicle option. If your vehicle explodes, you have to pay for it. And, that, and you have to go there to pay some money to fix it up. Alright, last but not least, before we end this mission, or this section prior, let's take this one, this one last forced, uh, event. So hungry. Is there any place on this campus that sells food? Oh god, Yvonne, don't make me, don't talk about food now. I haven't eaten, and I haven't eaten starting this recording yet. Do you ever stop eating? <laughs> Guess I'm pretty hungry too. You guys suck! Ugh. Honestly. Well, I know there's a campus store. Wanna go check it out? Oh, sure. Let's go. Hey! Whoa! They've got all sorts of stuff here. Man! Everything from textbooks to personal hygiene. Impressive. I like this. This place is pretty, pretty pimp. Hi, kids. A fresh batch of bread just came out of the oven. Are you hungry? <gasps> yes! <laughs> oh my god! No! This is a dream! It's Alicia! Whoa! Snap! Ooh! Oh, that smells amazing. Sign me up! Oh, yeah. Alicia, she's still in the bread business. Oh. This is awesome! You're killing me here! <laughs> I just got my certification, but I stand by my bread. Ah, oh, this is sweet! I know the school store ran a bakery! This is great! I just opened shop here today. Come on by any time you want a snack. Oh yeah! Alicia Gunther's kick-ass bread! Yes! Speaking of Gunther, where is that piece of manliness? Hey Alicia, here are those sourdough rolls. Spoke too soon! Spoke too soon! Oh yeah! Oh, 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 oh! It's Wilkin! Oh, good. That took a while, Wilkin. What have you been up to? Wilkin! I got waylaid by a ruby swallowtail. They only live here in the south. Wilkin! He hasn't changed. Oh, that figures. Honey, my first customers are here, waiting. Oh, hello there. You should give her bread a try. It's fantastic. What's up, Welkin? <laughs> oh man, it feels great to see him. I was literally fan me when I first played this game and saw this event. I was like, yes! 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 yes, 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 like Captain Falcon, so many times over. It's ridiculous. Wait, Alicia and Welkin? Why does that sound familiar? You. You're the heroes of the last war. You drove back the Empire. You didn't know? You're Lieutenant Welkin Gunther and Sergeant Alicia Melkiot. <laughs> I think you might be exaggerating a bit, but yes, I'm Welkin Gunther. Welkin motherfucking Gunther! Hail to his awesomeness! I retired from the militia, so I'm not a lieutenant anymore, though. Nah, he teaches now. 
and my name is Alicia Gunther now. Gunther? Then the two of you are... Married! Very recently! Yep, we got married. Just recently, in fact. <laughs> She's blushing. And how did two decorated heroes come to be here at Landseal? Yeah, that's a good question. I took up teaching. My first placement is in a town not far from here. Ah, oh, sweet! Alicia and I just moved down south from Brule. Ha <laughs> ha, that's awesome! And the headmaster is letting me sell my bread here at the shop. Aw, oh, the headmaster is officially made of epic. Damn. You guys are so lucky down here. Even just counting beetles, the diversity. The other day I went bug watching at noon, and next thing I knew it was dark. Well, kid, he hasn't changed a bit. Oh man. At no point stopping to think of your wife, who is worried sick? <laughs> Sorry about that. Ooh, the next batch should be just about done now. Right. Well, drop by again soon, kids. I'll have some fresh bread waiting. Delicious. And if you ever have any questions, I'm always happy to answer them. Oh, man! I had no idea we had bona fide heroes here. We really are privileged. You better fucking believe it! And I had no idea heroes knew how to bake bread, too. Maybe I should start. Maybe you should stop. Really. Just stop. <laughs> Oh, lol, Zeri. <laughs> yes, Alicia and Welkin are here, and they'll and they'll drop by the store on occasion. We'll, we'll check out the store next time on Valkyria Chronicles 2. But for now, I gotta relax. My head, my head's like exploding. So next time on Valkyria Chronicles 2, we'll find out more about this Levitine Cup, visit the store, and maybe take some missions. So this is Mage Knight 404, and I'll see you later, guys. Take care.